Uh, I thought they've done a great job uh, in terms of getting better every game, um, learning where they can uh, contribute, whether it's rebounding, defending, or scoring. Um, and I, I think um, there's still potential for those guys to grow. Um, so up to date, um, very pleased where we're at with them. Well, we talked about getting more depth last year, uh, recruiting to uh, play more guys uh, because we thought, uh, you know, playing guys with 36, 37 minutes, that's a lot of minutes, uh, especially when um, you get into March and kind of break down. So um, that's what we kind of recruited towards is having more depth. And so um, I'm using more guys now uh, off the bench. It kind of balances out the uh, minutes. Uh, a lot of uh, fan watching, uh, a lot of uh, evaluating themselves, uh, um, getting more comfortable within the system. I think that's the biggest part. Um, give an example, um, you know, Tyron, for example, early in the year would um, turn the ball over on ball screens and didn't really understand at this level you can't come back. And so he watched tape. He's gotten better. He doesn't turn it over in that area anymore. So uh, it's just a, a learning process, I think, with all the guys. Oh, definitely. Um, you know, if you can uh, get um, – whenever someone's struggling in your starting lineup, uh, whenever someone gets in foul trouble, uh, to have the luxury of going to your bench and knowing that you can still uh, pick up the pieces, uh, I, I think that's a big plus for us. Uh, it's it's by far the deepest team. Uh, I, I think uh, prior to this year, I think we've played probably seven guys, eight guys. Um, now we can go nine, ten. Uh, we've played uh, 11 at one time. So uh, it is definitely our, our deepest bench or and our most talented from one through 12. Um, what I said earlier in terms of contributing uh, or, or contributing in the game, in terms of in different areas, like Ronnie Stevens, for example, he may be more of a defender or rebounder one night, may come in and get you six or eight. Tyron may be able to score, may get a rebound, defensive stop. Uh, Eric was able to hit some shots. Uh, Lucas has come in in, in minutes and, and given us some uh, positive minutes. And so I, I think it's just been, um, you know, for us, uh, as long as we could continue to be consistent with the bench, uh, I always tell the guys, you're going to play. You just got to be ready when your number is called. And I think they've done a good job of that. No, I think so. And I, I think you've seen our team. I think when our bench has gotten better, I think our team's gotten better too. And so that's that, that's a their big plus, for, I mean, a big um, difference for us winning. I really believe that. Uh, we can't rely on our starters um, for 40 minutes. So we're going to need everyone. So uh, I think they're going to be better uh, by the time March comes. I mean, the room for growth is, is, is still there. Uh, they're physical. Uh, they're a team that shoot a lot of threes, um, and they rebound very well on offensive glass. So we got to uh, defend uh, the three-point line. Uh, two, uh, we have to rebound because they will send three or four guys to the offensive glass, and we got to keep them off the boards. Uh, then offensively, uh, we got to be strong with the ball. We got they're going to be a physical team. Uh, we got to um, we can't let the physicality hurt us uh, in terms of running our offense. Well, you just want to, I say it all the time, you just want to give yourself a chance to win. Um, road games are tough to win. And um, uh, if we could just go in and, and at the end of the last two or three minutes have a chance to win, uh, I'll be pleased. But uh, they're tough at home. I, don't think they, I think they only lost one game at home so far. So. Uh, I think when you get to conference, everyone knows you. Uh, like I said, uh, they have 12 or 13 tapes on you. And so they know your tendencies. And so in preseason, you're playing teams that maybe have seen you once, uh, really don't have an idea uh, how you play. Uh, so in conference, uh, they take away what you do well. And when you do that, you're going to have to um, um, counter that. Uh, you got to be better on, on every night. And I just think they're just getting caught in that um, – I should say call, but they're playing teams that know them very well versus preseason when they probably didn't know them as well. <laughs> well, uh, it, we had the same situation with uh, 
UNLV last year. I think they had two or three kids um, not there, and the game's fairly close. Uh, they were up by 17. I, I think it gives a guy an opportunity to step up and play. Uh, there's probably two or three guys that have not played, and because he's going to be out, they're going to get opportunity to play. And so I don't know if it's an advantage for us or uh, for them. Uh, we got to go in and, and just stay with our game plan. And I think um, um, as far as AJ not guarding uh, JJ, um, is it an advantage? It could be, but I don't want him to uh, take for granted someone else who's coming in and all of a sudden he goes off with 15, you know what I mean? So uh, we had to approach the game the same way as though he was going to be there. No, no, because I, I don't think they're going to play different. I, I just think, again, he's probably going to have uh, two or three guys that have not played uh, that's going to have to step up and play. Well, uh, we kind of have to move forward. Uh, you know, we we uh, kind of let the Fresno State and, and the UNLV game behind us. Uh, those two opponents are going to come up here shortly again in the next two weeks. So we have to concentrate on Colorado, uh, get refocused, and play well on the road. Um, we have to um, assume that um, if anyone gets hot, we have to have a game plan for a kid that starts to go off on us. Uh, we wasn't prepared for that, to be honest with you. I didn't assume a kid would go for 19 in the first half and end up with 40. So uh, he was he did very well. I mean, um, he made some shots with the hand in their face. So we we still got to stay with our game plan. Uh, but then as the game goes on, if someone is hot, we will adjust. Yeah, uh, you know, we look at uh, games uh, very long. Uh, whenever we're down, we never uh, stop playing. And uh, that shows some character for our guys. Uh, to be down by 13, we could easily just win a tank and lost by 20. But we fall back, and I think we even tied the game. And so that showed great character. But at the same time, you, you definitely wanted to win the game. And um, like I said, we, we're going to move forward and, and concentrate on Colorado State now. No, um, other than this hostile environment. I mean, every, everywhere we go, uh, there's going to be, you know, five to 7,000 fans. Uh, they're going to be rooting against you. And you just have to lock in and, and focus what's on the court and, and focus on what we're doing. Well, it's going to be a different. I don't see a, I don't know if necessarily a fall off. Um, I think there's going to have some guys that step up. Uh, maybe a guy that's averaging 10 may have to get 16 or 18, and they're fully capable. But uh, they do have a deep team. Uh, we just got to go in and, and keep our game plan as though he's there. Well, you know, you. Uh, that's funny. Uh, that's interesting you asked that. Um, that's who we are right now, and hopefully it improves. Uh, but we got to continue to shoot the three. Um, you know, we didn't shoot it well, but uh, Eric made a timely three-point shot. Uh, maybe that's what we are. You know, we, we have to pick and choose when we make a three. Um, but I don't think you can, um, as a coach, look at that and say, oh, my God, you know, we got to improve that. I just think, you know, hey, if they give us a shot, if Mike Perez, who's not shooting it great, or Eric is not shooting it great, uh, they still have to take the shots and uh, will some shots in. Um, and if it improves, that's great. Uh, if it stays there, we've got to learn to win without uh, being a three-point shooting team. Um, yeah, that's, that's a hard one. Um, you know, um, I don't know, maybe 15, maybe, um, 12 to 15. Um, we don't have a lot of guys that shoot them anyway. I think we have maybe four guys uh, on the average, Marquise, Mike, uh, Eric, Tyron. Um, I think Tyron probably takes maybe one or two a game, and Eric uh, and Mike probably takes the most uh, DJs up there. So probably about 12 uh, to 15 per game. No, it's unexpected. <laughs> uh, I thought it would be a little higher. I, I never thought we'd shoot 27%. Maybe it's somewhere in the 30s. But uh, um, it is what it is. Uh, we, we can't um, uh, control that right now. We have to go out and continue to play and, and try to win despite that low number.
No, I don't think they're shying away. Uh, we work on it in practice. Uh, we shoot the same game shots, and uh, even when we go through scouts, we understand that where your shot's going to come from. Uh, teams may rotate a certain way, so if you're going to be here, you're going to have to shoot that shot. So uh, we're not shying away from it. We're still practicing it. Uh, guys are shooting every day, and hopefully it will improve. You know, um, It's almost – like last year with our defensive field goal percentage, um, teams were shooting really high, and then AJ came and came became uh, got a little lower. So I'm hoping that maybe it shoots up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, um, when you hindsight is always like that. When you go back and look at a game, you lose by three, and you had some good looks at the three-point line, or you made uh, maybe missed a layup or a free throw. Um, so uh, we had to continue to shoot it. Uh, it's not something that I will go and talk to the guys about personally and say, oh, my God, you guys got to make these shots. That's too much pressure. You just have to take the shots within the offense and take what the defense is giving you. Uh, he should be okay to go on Wednesday. Uh, I haven't seen him yet. I know he went to see the trainer uh, yesterday for treatment, and she said he was doing a lot better. Uh, I think it was a, it wasn't it? It showed it, it was a bruised ligament or muscle. He got hit here and it got really tight during the game. Well, um, I didn't know what the weather was like. We we're out of school. Um, there's a flight that you know, direct flight about one it gets you in about four forty-five. You go Tuesday. Uh, we always had trouble driving up there. There's a lot of traffic, and so I just wanted to get there a day early. Uh, they're allowing us to practice in their facility today, so we'll practice there and um, uh, relax tomorrow and do our uh, normal uh, day before the game practice uh, on Tuesday. So it's just one of those schools out. I uh, just want to get there a little earlier we can. No, uh, you know, he's averaging double-double pretty much. Um, he's doing a lot uh, um, down there for us. He's scoring. Uh, he's getting offensive rebounds, giving us second shots, uh, blocking shots. Uh, so he's doing a, a great job down there. And uh, I just want him to continue to be consistent and, and uh, give us that uh, almost every night. Well, I think he uh, probably realized he maybe hurt the team a little bit. And, and when, you, when you're when hurt, you can't help the team. Uh, I think he took that as, hey, you know what, when I'm playing, I'm going to give my best. Uh, and the way we lost at Pacific, I think it bothered him a little bit because uh, he could have helped if he wasn't hurt. And I think that's just kind of something personal that you kind of take and say, you know what, um, he's changed in terms of effort every night, uh, trying to win, and that's been a great sign. It's definitely been a um, a change, and I have to adjust to it. I'm not gonna lie, but I just like every time I, my number gets called, I just want to be productive on the floor, and that's that's mainly what I've been trying to do every time I touch the floor. So. Yeah, definitely. I feel like when I get in, I'm gonna try to go my hardest because I know. My limit, my minutes are limited because we have a deep team. So every time I touch the floor, I just try to go as hard as I can defensively and offensively. So. I think our bench is uh, good in terms of scoring defensive, defensive wise, and I think we we have a good good bench. Me, Eric. Um, Caleb coming off the bench now. Like we we have some strong pieces that, if the the starters don't come out too well, like like we had a slow start against Fresno State. I feel like when we came in, we boosted our team back up, and that's kind of what we need sometimes when the starters don't come out as good as they want to.
I feel like I got a little bit better every game because um, first couple games, like Coach said, I was turning the ball over. And, like, that's not really who I am. I don't really turn the ball over too much. But um, like he said, like I think the speed of the game was kind of fast for me at the beginning. But I can tell each each and every game I'm getting used to it and used to it, and I play better every game. Looks like you're a natural slasher, but I mean, you think about what you did the previous year. Um, just talk about your development in that part of the game. Well, um, in our offense, a lot of the times it like I'm in a three point position, and I don't know why, but defense is giving me open looks, so. Every time I get a good look, I, I'm just ready to let it go and got my feet set. Coach has been working with me on my jumper, so I'm just going to continue to do what I can. If if I get open shots, I'm going to take them. And if I have the opportunity to slash, I will. Going back on the road for the first time since the MLB and now with the first road game, I guess, what do you, is there a different confidence for you guys to go on the road this time around just because we're going home and not having to play? Um, I think we still have the same confidence. Um, I feel like we all felt like we should have won that Fresno State game, so I, I think this game will put a little more fire in our in our hearts. So I think we're going to come out and play hard at Colorado State. Maybe kind of like an extra big dog for the home loss. Yeah. Going on the road. Yeah, I think so. Um, I actually do have an uncle out in um Denver, so he might he might show up, and um yeah, I think. Yeah, it is. Definitely. Um, some of my family is out there, and um, they might actually come up from Nebraska, too. So I'm not sure yet, but they might because it's only a seven hour drive or whatever. So. Yeah, we won't. We won't know uh, what to expect, but at the same time, we we got to play and we got to defend everybody like. Everybody's the leading scorer. Is that at this at this level, everybody can score. Everybody can do the same thing you can do. So at this level, you can't treat anybody like oh they can't score. They're at Division One for a reason. So we just we just have to defend and play like we know how to play, and we should be able to give them a good good game. Same mentality. We're not gonna act like he's not there. We're gonna we're gonna play hard. We're gonna defend everybody. The person that comes in for his position, we're gonna defend him like he is JJ. I don't know JJ personally or what he what his stats was like, but um, like I said, we're gonna defend everybody like 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 they're JJ or, or better. You know, you never know who could go off every night, any night. So. I'm not really sure because I haven't really looked uh I haven't really watched Colorado State in the past years or anything but um coach said they they have good three-point shooters, they defend the ball and they rebound pretty well. So um I would just say if we keep a every shot contested and we rebound, we should be able to be in the game regardless. So It will boost our confidence up because, like I said, we, we all felt like we should have ended up with a win against uh, Fresno State. So I feel like if we get this win in um, Colorado State, it will definitely boost our conference up for the next for the next conference game. Two more <laughs> yeah, I think I do. Yeah, by far. Yeah. Uh, the Mets have played really well this year in the part of the basket season. I guess um, just talk about uh, that group effort and, and what you think you guys decided to focus on this year. Um, I think the biggest thing is the energy 
you know, we, like uh, Tyron was saying, we pick up what the starters kind of like drop off at times because, you know, sometimes a player might not start out as well as they want to. And that's when we come in, you know, pick them up, pick the team up. And I think that's our biggest thing, the energy and the, you know, tenacity we have coming off the bench. Um, well, I think it's a more maturity thing, you know, when you've, you know, started in previous teams and then you come off a bench, you know, you just have to keep the same mindset, you know, just come out and play as hard as you can. Don't look at it. It's like, oh, I'm not starting. I can't, you know, perform like I want because, you know, any given day somebody can go off and do great and, you know, other days, you know, you might be slouching, but you can't veer off from the main objective. Our defense, you know, we we come in and play good D, and you know we we uh, defend well. Really, it's just probably the strongest thing we have. You know, besides scoring, you know, we uh, probably the defense. Our bench. Yeah. I never thought of it. You know, I mean, if we get if we got uh, given a nickname, you know, I, I wouldn't be mad at it. But you know, I never thought of it. Yeah, you know, you know, it's, um, you know, like, you know, it's, they're a tough team, but, you know, we've gotten, we have like a little chip on our shoulder from where we've been placed in rankings and stuff like that. So we want to prove people wrong, you know, so, yeah, I think it's confidence wise, we're, we're good. We're fine with confidence and going into a road game. I feel like that's great, you know, because, you know, egos can take a lot of negative effects on a team because, you know, they want to do their own thing. But the guys on our team, we understand our roles. And, you know, it's it helps a lot in the long run when the guy needs to be called upon and he hasn't been called upon the entire game and needs to step up at a certain time. So I think that's really good that we kind of push that to the side. Um, they're doing a lot better now. I've I've started a different routine that's been greatly affecting my body. It's um, you know I've been stretching a lot more on my own on my own, let alone practicing you know weightlifting and stuff like that. And it's really been beneficial to my game because it's I can tell a difference in my body when I'm starting to play now compared to earlier in the year when I wasn't stretching. So yeah, it's it's coming a long way now. Um, not, it doesn't really change, really. Is you know because they're all physical. You know, I I didn't play them last year because you know, I was out injured. But from what I saw when I was back here, like they're really physical and can shoot. So I don't, you know, treat them any less likely as if he was playing or wasn't playing. I just you know treat it as they're our opponent. We gotta play as hard as we can, and that's that. Um. You know, hostile environment, you know, fans going to be on your neck. You know, it's the same thing every road game. No, you know, because we weren't expecting him to go off as like he did. You know, if we... I felt like all the shots he took were hard. You know, it was not like we let up on him at all. And, you know, that happens in basketball. People can get hot and you don't expect. So I, I felt like our defense was fine because we obviously were down quite a bit at one point in the game. We came back and almost won. So I don't feel like our defense is slacking. It's just, you know, one of those situations where the guy was just hot right from the beginning and we just had to defend him as best we could and we did.
Yeah, yeah, we you know we talk about that all the time. You know, we don't you know push down anybody who doesn't do good. But you know, like in like any given day, somebody can get hot. Like Eric did. You know, UNLV. You know, hit all. I think at 12, 12 points off of threes, pretty much. And you know, um, AJ did really well. He's being really consistent. So you know, we just keep everybody up, keep everybody's spirits up. You know, just tell them like your time can come any time, any any time in the game. Defend and rebound because you know physical teams are more likely to you know push and shove, and we need to just you know keep our ground. And you know I feel like because if you back down from a physical team, you're like oh you know don't push me and stuff. That kind of shows like a little soft side. We don't have that, and I'm you know it's really good because we can match the physicality and rebounding. So you know I feel like just defending well and rebounding will stay in the game because we can score. We have scores so. That's pretty, that's pretty much it. Oh, <laughs> man, I haven't tried, I haven't tried it out in a while. Um, probably 270, a little bit over my weight, but yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good work, you